So I just picked this book up. I got it for less than $20, if you believe it. You'll notice it's a newsstand copy of Web of Spider-Man number one. And it's in a high grade. It's like, it needs pressed, but it's going to probably be a 9.4, even a 9.6. Even if it's a 9.0 or an 8.5, 20 bucks for this comic is amazing. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. So what happens when you get a comic like this in, or you have some polybag comics in your collection you want to upgrade to Mylar? This is something I have seen a lot of videos on, and I don't think anybody's getting it right out there. I've handled thousands and tens of thousands of comics and transferred them, and I've never seen anybody explain it the way I think is the best way to do it. So how do comics even get damaged among collectors? It's because we're not putting them in our bags correctly and not taking them out. That, I think, is the biggest reason that damage just accumulates, defects accumulates on comics once we obtain them. And we don't want defects on our comics, right? We want to preserve them in the state that they are, whatever they are right now, we want them to be that way for the next hundred years or whatever. So we want to make sure we're taking our, our comics out of bags and putting them in bags properly, if we're handling them at all. First of all, don't handle comics unless you have to. If you want to handle a comic, don't have a high grade one like this. Buy a low grade and just have a reader's copy or look at it online. You can find most comic books online now, right? When you have to handle your comics, you just bought one or you're transferring it to Mylar or whatever, this is the best way that i found to do it. Okay, so we want to transfer this comic from this ugly poly bag into this nice Mylar bag here, right? First thing is, you don't want to have, you don't want to ever put a comic into a bag with the board still in the bag. So you want to take the board out, set the bag aside, and so you have this board sitting here like this, right? So... The comic, this is the best way. This is the way that I recommend doing it whenever possible. So you never want to pull a comic out. You don't want to touch this comic. You want to have as little hand to comic contact as you can possible. So I take the board and I just put my thumb here. I don't, I don't even touch the comic. And I set it on a table like this and I slide it out right there. Comic stays on the board. I don't touch the comic at all. I throw this bag to the side. I get this new board, the one I'm going to put into this Mylar bag here. And I set it right next to it, right? And actually, if you just slide this board underneath the other one like that, you can take the edge of this board. I'm not doing a very good angle right here that I would normally do for the purposes of the video, so this is a little bit awkward. And I just kind of slide this comic over onto the new board. I didn't even really have to touch this comic. Now, you know, I've got it on the new board here. And uh, you can do some little bit of adjustments right here. You take your new bag and you take whatever corner you want, but I always take like the far corner for me. And I stick it right here in the bag. I get the whole thing in there. And then I don't touch the comic. I just kind of put my hand on the bag here and I just slide the top of the board in like this. And you can kind of get the top of the Mylar bag right here, the flap, and just keep slowly but surely pushing it in. Go very slowly. You don't ever want your hand to slip and go up into the comic, right? So you kind of just make sure you're on there good. Once you get to about that point, you can stand the book up like this, and then you can push from the top, and it's a lot easier. You never want to do this kind of thing to move it down, like slamming the comic into the table. You can actually cause damage to your corners that'll, you know, you'll, you'll damage the board and the shock waves from the damage on the board will actually go into the comic. So you never want to be slamming this comic around. You want to push it in. And actually, if you turn it against your chest like this and push with your thumb, it can actually be easier. Some of these mylars are really tight. So you just want to take your time. Don't touch the comic. And just steadily and slowly but surely get it in here. Once it's in there, you want to make sure you have an equal distance, fairly equal distance amount of board around the bag. I mean, around the comic. So I noticed that my I have a lot more space on the bottom here. So this is where it's okay just to kind of just tap just a little bit, just to move the comic down slightly. Just a nice little drop it from like a, a centimeter. You know, you're just tapping. You're not slamming it, right? Now the comic is in a really good spot. I haven't touched it. It's in my brand new Mylar bag. You know, nice and stiff, a lot more protective. We've transferred that over. And uh, that is the best way, in my opinion, to do it. The alternative way is 
if you have uh, a bag and board and a comic in it and it's really loose like the bag is way too wide and the comics just flopping around in there then it's okay to do it this way you just get your hands it's hard to do this in mylar but you get your hands in you put you do actually put your thumb just on the top of the comic and you just gradually slide you hold the other board up like this underneath and like this and you know you have your bag your board just underneath this one and then you take your thumb on the comic and it's got to be real loose i'm not going to do it right now because this is mylar but actually you know what i'll transfer it let me transfer it. let me get another comic i've got this poly bag i've got the board i want to transfer it to now this is one of those stupid sticky bags don't buy these where it has the stickiness already on it it's just it's a pain in the butt anyway don't do that so you have this comic underneath you have this one here so you put this here like this and you just um, transfer to the new board like this and you just slide and the other bag comes away and you're already on a board I don't like this method either because you know if you're holding it like this you can't actually put a little pressure right here in the middle so that's the second best way but do the first way don't do the second way unless you just prefer it or find it's better that way because the second way you have to put your thumb on the comic and I don't ever like touching a comic like I've already said unless I have to I hope this was helpful in telling you how to how to put a comic in a bag and board and how to remove a comic from a bag and board. Thanks for stopping by.